Our second employee uh, is also an, an amazing person. Uh, he was hired in May of 1999 in our measurement standards division as an inspector. And uh, our measurement standards division, for those of that you that don't know, anything that's a scale in the state of Oregon, we inspect and license it, all the way from railroad size scales to the scales that you find in grocery stores. Uh, we also do motor fuel quality and just some very interesting things. Aaron Edelot um, moved to our metrology lab, and while he was working for us, went back to college to earn his degree. He has successfully graduated through basic, intermediate, and advanced metrology training provided by the National Institute of Standards and Technology, and has become one of the most highly respected metrologists in the country. He has been instrumental in building a measurement standards division lab that operates at the NIST, that's that National Institute of Science and Technology, echelon one level. Um, as a result of Aaron's personal achievements and the achievements accomplished through the lab itself, the last two audits, national audits performed on our lab have come back with zero deficiencies, which according to the national audit firm is the first in the nation. The reputation of Aaron and the lab have spread across the country and that reputation helps facilitate approximately $60,000 to $90,000 worth of special test requests that we get from private businesses and other governmental agencies each year. These outside customers include agricultural, research and consulting firms, petroleum refining companies, helicopter manufacturing and maintenance, major national food manufacturers, national scale manufacturers, a dairy association, the seafood industry, and I could go on and on and on. Aaron truly exemplifies, as does Dr. Hansen, the customer service attitude that our Department of Agriculture employees have and providing top-notch service. Um, and Aaron now is currently training on his own time and money to become a national assessor himself. Aaron, I hope you were surprised. <laughs> Thanks for being here and come on up. Um, I want to thank you all. Uh, this was pretty much a surprise till about 3 o'clock today when I started to piece it together. So maybe I shouldn't be a national expert because it took me till about then to figure it out. <laughs> they gave me a story and I'm almost embarrassed to tell you what it was because I fell for it. Uh, but I finally got a smartphone and uh, while I was at the hotel I thought this just doesn't add up and I went to our ODA webpage and I found that there was uh, something going on at, in Pendleton tonight. And it had an agenda. So at that point, I started to wonder. But Jason still wouldn't fess up. I, I tried to get it out of him, and he, he wouldn't say. So anyways, I didn't really have anything prepared, uh, as it was a surprise. Um, I really like working for the Department of Ag. There's a really uh, great amount of uh, good people there, um, really good people like Katie. And uh, I am very humbled. I mean, I, I am surprised. And so this is a great honor. I, I appreciate it. Thank you. <laughs> 